said she, whilst staring into the camera and wondering when lunch would be. Welcome back to Zo Don't Know. I am Zoe and I'm your real life person that knows very little about how the world works just like you. And today, I am going to share with you one of my absolute favorite pieces of writing that coincidentally, I wrote myself. Oh, this is a real chapter that I wrote when I was nine years old, and it is from a book that I also wrote when I was nine years old that is called Irene Hart, A Girl's Quest for Love, Rainbows, Magic, Happiness, Vengeance, and Gymnastics. So, let's get to the story. <laughs> Okay, so before I actually read the chapter, I need to set the scene. Irene, our heroine, has invited her friends, Olive and Nikki, and her worst enemies, Jade and Alexandria, to her house for a little party slash get together. Now, this is no ordinary party slash get together because Irene really does not like her worst enemies. Comment down below if you can relate to not liking your worst enemies. And so she decides to pull a little prank on them. She's going to poison them with food. Food poisoning. Let's get to it. Chapter whatever. Cake with a side of poison. Time to eat. Olive is hungry. Jade is hungry. Alexandria is hungry. Nikki is hungry. I, Irene, just so you know, am hungry too, but I'm not in the mood for cake. I'm hungry for some poison. Jade and Alexandria, I have a small cake for you to share, I announce. For once, they don't tease or embarrass me. They are too hungry to care what they are eating. Olive and Nikki, I say, I have a cake for you to share as well, but it's a different kind. Because the kind Jade and Alexandria have, Olive is allergic to. Yummy! Screams Nikki. I smile. Here comes phase one. Everyone eats the cake. I eat a muffin. I keep stealing glances at Jade and Alexandria. They look normal. I suddenly have an idea! If a grown-up found out, I would be in trouble. This was an evil idea, but the whole scheme was evil. But evil for good was okay, right? Right? Right. Excuse me, I need to use the ladies room, I say, ignoring Jade and Alexandria's snickers. I go upstairs and get my phone. I wait a minute, just for good measure, flush the toilet so they think I've been in the bathroom and go downstairs. Is that a phone? Asks Jade. Yes, I say with a smile. It doesn't hurt my feelings as much when I know what's about to happen. It looks more like a toy phone. An ugly toy phone? Teases Alexandria. Yes, yes it does, I say. Very ugly, says Jade. Like nothing could be uglier. Yup, I say. Jade and Alexandria are shocked. <gasps> this is fun. Like, it looks like it's from outer space, said Alexandria. An outer space film would be so awesome, I'd totally buy it, I said. You'd buy it? You who has only a nickel a week? Screams Jade. Why not? I say. Alexandria is starting to look green. Jade is looking, well, Jade. <laughs> I think I need to throw up, says Alexandria. I pick up my phone and start filming. I rush Alexandria to the bathroom. I get a beautiful video of her chucking up. Jade rushes in and barfs too. I 
I think I can see some frosting from the cake. I do a close-up on Alexandria, who is vomiting and screaming at the same time. Goals. I feel like asking her if I can have her autograph. My bleh, hair is bleh, ruined, screams Jade between barbs. Bits and pieces of vomit were everywhere in the bathroom. My mom rushes in. Oh, Jade and Alexandria, oh, sweetie pies, let me call Erin and Alice to pick you girls up, okay? Do you want a shower? Wow. Moms do a lot of babbling. The end. Guys, I honestly think that my writing skills might have peaked at the age of nine because that was incredible. That's my favorite. That might be my favorite thing I've ever written. But I probably, I should look back at some of the other things I've written to really judge if that one was the absolute best thing I've ever written. So comment down below if you'd like me to read some of my other old books that I wrote back in the day. And please like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. Don't worry, no one poisoned me yet.